if you're using Rigify to rig fantasy creatures, like this um, two-headed ogre, for example, then occasionally you may want to have two face rigs in the same character. Until Blend of Three, that was kind of possible, but it required a lot of effort. I have a Rigify course in which I show how to rig this entire character, and I also showed how to combine two faces, and I even tweaked the Rigify script to make it work. In Blender 3, that can be done a little bit easier, but it is still not straightforward. So what changed in Blender 3 is that the old face rig type was replaced by modular skin rig types. And so technically it is not a problem to have as many faces in the same rig as you want. The problem is that the conversion from the old face rig to the new system still depends on the names. In the previous versions, the generation of the rig depended on the names. Now only the conversion of the rig depends on the names, but that still creates a problem for us. So here I have this meta rig, which is obviously a custom meta rig. And before attempting to have two faces, you should have a clear idea how to do something like this. And you can watch my playlist on YouTube here and learn how to do it. Or you can get my paid course, uh, which goes a little bit more in depth. But now to add one face rig, I can go to edit mode for this um, meta rig, go to edit mode, go to the armature tab, rigify, and here, because I'm using Blender 3.2, I have this unified Blender menu. Um, in the older versions, Rigify was kind of all over the place. But here I have the samples, and I'm going to look for the face, choose the super face, and add a sample. So it appears here, down here in the center of the world. I'm going to move it, and let's say that I want to um, align it to this guy here. So I'm going to switch to Bounding Mode Center and just scale these bones up. So I'm not going to do the alignment of the face. I've done this uh, many times, even in a recent video in which I showed how to convert this face to the new system. I'm going to share a link to that video. But let's say that I have aligned these bones. Um, I have to actually select the face bone and shift select the head bone and parent it with keep offset. Okay, so now if I go to pose mode, you'll see that I have the Upgrade Face Rig button. If I click on it and confirm, um, Blender will change the face rig to the new system. If I go back to edit mode, there is no problem in adding another super face sample. Here it is. And let's say that I align it to the other guy like this. Let's call this done. And now if I go to pose mode, the upgrade face rig button is grayed out. If I go to this bone, you'll see that it's called face 001. If I press F2 and rename it so that it is called, it's called face. Um, let's see, I have to call this one 001. And then this one, I may be able to remain to just face. Okay, it worked, and now as soon as this bone is called face, I have the upgrade face rig button. I can try to click it, but it won't work. Here is a little error that popped up, and that is because the bone names of the new face rig are not what Blender expects. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo. And here is the workaround. To add the second face, I'm going to go to object mode press Ctrl A and add a new single bone. And it's over here. Let's press Alt G to move it in the center of the world. Go to edit mode, go to samples and add a um, face rig sample. So I'm going to delete this default bone and then select all the other bones and move them and basically align them to the face of the character. Okay, then I can go to pose mode and upgrade the face rig. And it's going to be upgraded correctly because it is in a separate armature, so it can have the exact bone names that Blender needs. So with this upgraded face rig, I'm going to shift select the original um, meta rig armature. So in object mode, shift select it and press Ctrl J 
to join both in a single armature. Then go to edit mode, select this face bone, the new one, and shift select the head, parent it so that uh, things stay connected. And then I can regenerate. Okay, I'll hide the meta rig and you'll see that here I have a functional um, face rig on the one head and another functional face rig on the other head. If I look at the rig main properties, you'll see that the properties were generated correctly. I can use the mouth lock. Um, here I have special properties for these eyes and here I have them for the other head. So everything is working. I could bind this character to this generated rig, automatic weights. And that's it. Um, now it is going to work, uh, except that the weights are not perfect because the faces are not so well aligned. But yeah, it does work. This is how you can have two face rigs in the same meta rig and have them generate correctly. Just create the second face meta rig in a separate armature, upgrade it, and then join it with the main meta rig. Do your parenting and generate your rig. That's all. Hope this helps. Big thanks to my supporters on Gumroad and Patreon. Please click like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in another video.